Dozens of volunteers handed out and installed smoke detectors on the south side today. Judy Wang has the story. Three new smoke detectors in Lessie Keller Lee's home. It gives the Rosemore residents some peace of mind. I don't have to come up on the ladder. They're going to do it. I don't have to change the battery. It's good for 10 years. My mother is 89 years old. As you can see her over there, it's, a, it's very helpful for me. Grab the ladder on the end. There you go. 50 volunteers geared up for the American Red Cross Sound the Alarm event. Working in teams, they headed out to more than 200 homes in Southside neighborhoods, giving away smoke alarms and installing them. House fires are the disaster the Red Cross responds to most often. We track the smoke alarms that we've installed over the course of this five year campaign. And so when a fire happens and that family gets out safely, we can go back and say whether that was three days later, six months later, or a year later, that that family got out safely because of a smoke alarm installed by the American Red Cross. Sound the Alarm is a national initiative. Red Cross volunteers aim to install 50,000 smoke alarms by the end of the month. Smoke alarms, it's not always front of mind to make sure you're checking them twice a year or the batteries are installed properly. So it's just something that sometimes many of us take for granted when things are happening in our lives, but it is the thing that can help save lives. 1,200 lives saved nationwide since the Red Cross started the program, 33 of them in Illinois. I'm sure I would sleep better. A lot of times you hear on the news that elderly people uh, die from smoke. Something happened in the house, they were cooking, so therefore you need that type of protection. In Rosemore, Judy Wang, WGN News.